hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do a drawing of the hyperbola. From your grade 10 work, you should know if it's a positive A, then I'm in the first and the third quadrant. Remember when I'm talking to, about quadrants, then these lines are reference to my asymptotes. If I have negative A, then I'm working in the second and the fourth quadrant. Again, these are my asymptotes. Now, when we're drawing the graph, the first asymptote that you're already aware of is the Q, where Y is equal to Q. The second asymptote is X is equal to P. So what does that mean? If I'm looking here and I'm referring it to my graph, then I have Y is equal to minus 1. And if I'm looking at my P, then X is equal to 1. Remember, it's the opposite sign. I had discussed that in the parabola when we had done A into X minus P all squared. If we looked here, I discussed the sign issue with you regarding the P. So most of the time you'll see that P is the opposite sign of what is in the bracket, okay? Okay, so we have the two asymptotes. Next, what I advise first is that you draw the graph, just a small rough graph. You know on minus 1, y is minus 1, you're going to have an asymptote. And you know on x is equal to 1, you're going to have an asymptote. Now this graph doesn't even need to be so big. You can just do a small testing graph. So if you wanted to, you could even do this. And said, okay, I got a point there and I got a point there. Then I know it's negative. So it's going to be here and it's going to be here which means that it's likely that I got an X and a Y intercept. Can you see? So when you look at the graph, then you decide, hey, I need to do both. I need to do my X intercept and my Y intercept. Now let us do our X intercept. So first was our asymptotes. Second is our X intercept. And third is our Y intercept. Always remembering that our quadrant will direct us or show us more or less if we're going correctly or incorrectly. Now, x-intercept means y is equal to 0. If I substitute into my formula, I'm going to have 0 is equal to minus 1 over x minus 1 minus 1. Bring my 1 over. Again, it's solving for x. If you are not okay with your solving for x, you need to go over our videos in solving for x, algebraic expressions, factorizing, because without that, you cannot do graphs. Then we're going to have x minus 1 is equal to minus 1, x is equal to 0. So my coordinate is x is 0 and y is 0. Now my y-intercept. y-intercept, x is equal to 0. So I have y is equal to minus 1 over 0 minus 1 minus 1. So y is equal to minus 1 divided by minus 1 is 1, minus 1 is 0. So my coordinates are x is 0. You said that right in the beginning when you say y-intercept. You know I'm saying x is 0, y is 0. Now let us draw the graph. All right, we have the two coordinates, 0 and 0. And then we have y is equal to minus 1, x is equal to 1. Those are asymptotes. So let's first put in our asymptote. X is equal to 1 means I'm cutting on the y one line on X. And then Y is equal to minus 1 means on the minus line I'm cutting. Then I have my coordinate 0, 0. It's repeated but it's the same thing. Now I know that it's a negative graph which means that I'm in the second and fourth. So I'm clearly going to go like this. Remember, the one graph you're going to do, the other one usually is just a copycat even though you don't have any points. Let us do one more graph. Okay, we have f of x is equal to 12 over x plus 2 minus 4. Our asymptotes is x is equal to minus 2. Remember, we're changing the sign there and y is equal to minus 4. Then we have our x-intercept which is y is equal to 0. So we have 0 is equal to 
12 over x plus 2 minus 4. Take my 4 over, we have 4 is equal to 12 over x plus 2. Solving for x, this you should be okay with, right? So we have 4x plus 8 is equal to 12. 4x is equal to 4. x is equal to 1. Our coordinate would be 1 and 0. Then we've got our y-intercept. y-intercept, x is equal to 0. So I have y is equal to 12 over 2 minus 4, which is 6 minus 4, so y is equal to 2. My coordinates are 0 and 2. Now when we're drawing the graph, so we're first going to draw the asymptote. x is equal to minus 2. And then we have y is equal to minus 4. And then our coordinates, x is 1 and 0. y is 0 and 2. Then we're going to join the dots. Now you have to draw on the other side. Even though there's no dots for you and you can't uh, join anything, you must draw more or less what you think it would look like. You have to draw that graph. Otherwise, you will lose marks. Now, here you have to put 1 and 0, and here you should put 0 and 2. If they ask you to clearly indicate the equations of the asymptote, then you're going to say y is equal to minus 4, and here x, x is equal to minus 2. Thank you for watching.